also hearing from a 19-year-old woman who says she was attacked after a party, one she found out about on Facebook. D'Angelo Goods already faces 15 years in prison for his role in the assault. David Hernandez will face a judge tomorrow accused in the same attack. New tonight, KETV News Watch 7's Amanda Crawford on one night that forever changed a young woman's life. I feel angry. I'm angry that they did it. Um, I'm angry that no wasn't enough. Angry enough to speak up. Um, I had bite marks, and I have actually a bite mark scar on the inside of my chest right here. This 19 year old from Mills County, Iowa, doesn't want to use her name. We'll call her Rachel. And I had fingerprint bruises all down my sides and down my knees. In June, Rachel and a friend drove to Omaha for a party they'd heard about on Facebook. That's where they say they met D'Angelo Goods and David Hernandez. Rachel says they invited the men back to her house. By the time Goods and Hernandez showed up around 3.30 a.m., Rachel's friend had gone home. The three sat down to watch a movie and Rachel fell asleep. When she woke up, she says her clothes were off. And I had an elbow and arm on my chest and sternum holding me down and one between my legs and one biting and messing with my face. According to the allegations in a criminal report, Hernandez plugged Rachel's nose and stuck his fingers down her throat. She fought back. Rachel says they tied her hands and raped her. And I was crying. I cried the majority of the time and resisted and they didn't care. It was very violent and very volatile. Trisha McSorley, the Mills County attorney, says what happened to Rachel is one of the most brutal rapes she's ever prosecuted. There is uh, the risk of a uh, risk of death, uh, and and we do believe that that was the case in this crime. Goods was arrested a few days after the attack. Hernandez turned himself in after a warrant was issued. I think it's definitely a reminder that this can happen anywhere, anytime. I think it's a reminder um, that you can't get too comfortable. As time goes by, Rachel's scars fade. After all she's lost, she says she's found her voice, and that gives her the power to help others. I know that it's embarrassing that someone took advantage of you like that, or that someone did that to you and that someone hurt you. And I know that that's hard to deal with and hard to process, but you shouldn't be embarrassed, and you should take charge. In Mills County, Amanda Crawford, KETV News Watch 7. Again, Hernandez has a pretrial hearing tomorrow in Mills County. We reached out to his attorney and Good's attorney, but we have not received a response.